Hello, welcome to a new video and as you can see I'm like in a festive mood I actually have like my Santa Claus hair bins on but I just can't make the camera screen like angle work and I can't just have them in the frame because if I try to I just go too far and then if I like go down you'll just see my face so we're gonna have to work with this but just know that I'm wearing them <laughs> I am going to be talking about all the books that are just perfect to read during the Christmas season or in December and I'm kind of late because I wanted to upload this like a while ago but I have been sort of busy so I thought well it's never too late I know that all of these books are not like possible to be read in one single Christmas but this is a like video for any Christmas so any year basically I just want to talk about these books because they are just super cozy and I do plan to read some of these books during the Christmas week and I'm just saving the rest for the future Christmas seasons um, so let's get into them now some of these books I do own and then I want to talk about some of the books that I don't own But I might read on the Kindle and I don't know the plots for all of these books But I thought I'll just share the title with you so that maybe you You know it can help you to figure out some festive reads for your own TBR So let's get right into the books the very first book that I have that I've been meaning to read is the Christmas Horus and look at how stunning this book is. Oh, that's opposite, sorry. Um, it is just so, so, so beautiful and it is a middle grade book as you can probably tell by the cover. So all I know about this book is that it's about this dinosaur-like creature called the Christmasaurus and it's about I think like an adventure in the North Pole with like a boy called William, his dad Mr. Bob and apparently the real Santa Claus and that's all I know about this book um, but it seems like such a cozy chill book. I think there are like a few illustrations in here as well so that's just so so sweet. I bought this book last Christmas but I wasn't able to get to it so I'm hoping to read it this Christmas week. The next book that I want to talk about... Oh wait, it's in my book sleeve. One second. So I'm actually currently reading this book and that is why it is in a book sleeve. And this book sleeve Gav got me. It's so so sweet of him. But this is the book I wanted to show you. So this is 12 Days of Christmas by Trisha Ashley and I am actually rereading this book. I love this book so 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 much and I have decided to make a tradition to read this book every Christmas. So I started this two days ago and like I've only read 65 pages but it's about this girl called Holly and um, she is a widow so her husband died during Christmas and that is why she has stopped celebrating Christmas and she just wants to escape escape like all the Christmas festivities whenever the season rolls around and I think it's been like eight years since her husband died and she like goes to house sit certain places like certain houses during the season and she is sent to the Lancashire that's what it's called I think the Moors the Lancashire Moors um, and she is supposed to look after this house but like things go crazy later on and like it's not as planned and there's a lot of Christmas spirit coming like you'll just see a lot of Christmas tradition in the village later on and it's like explained in the book I I don't want to give any spoilers that's why I'm not trying to like go into the plot but um, it, it is very very Christmassy and you can just say that Holly later on changes her mind about things but more than the plot, what I really love about this book is that Holly is a baker, so she likes to bake, and I love baking. And in this book, like, she is alone in this beautiful, like, big house, and it's cozy, it's really, really cold, there's snow outside, and, um, you know, there's a fireplace and everything, and all the details in the book are just so, so beautiful. It's like, there are scenes where, like, Holly is baking pudding or pie and like I don't remember the dishes but like 
she explains in detail everything she's doing so that's just like beautiful it just it feels so cozy and i love the detailing in it and also later on there are a lot of relationships between people that are developing between holly and other people and there's just a lot of um meaningful relationships that are being like discussed and it's just so so sweet and there's even like different traditions of christmas that they follow in the village and like you just start to actually understand what christmas is really about um and that's just so sweet like i love this book so much and i could just go on and on about this and um the crazy thing is i actually picked this book from a book sale and i just got it for like 100 rupees which was amazing um also like there is a little bit of a romance element if you're interested in that but i think like I love that this book is a lot more than romance it's about christmas it's about the real spirit of christmas i love it um and yeah i don't know if i'm missing out something and also there's like a horse and a goat in here that holly has to look after that like it's kind of funny how she like um she doesn't know how to look after a horse but she figures it out and just you get my point it's a very like slow living cozy living atmosphere i love it I'm gonna stop writing about this book and move to the next one um but yeah the next book that i would recommend oh i didn't take it off my shelf so definitely if you know christmas books you know this is not a surprise it's a christmas carol and this is by charles dickens look at how stunning this book is though this is the puffin cloth bound edition I found this on Amazon and I had to get it so I gave my other copy to Gav but this is basically about Scrooge who you know he doesn't really appreciate Christmas and everything and it's about him like meeting these different spirits like it's called Ghost of Christmas and they you know take him through different circumstances like one past one present one future and they just show him what can happen if he like doesn't change his ways um it's a classic so i guess most of you might know what it's about so yeah that is a lovely read if you're looking for a christmas read again the next book i want to talk about like these are all books that i have not really read so i might not be able to explain them properly but i'm planning to read them so the next book I have with me is A Winter's Tale by Trisha Ashley again and this actually Gav again gifted it to me last year and since it's by Trisha Ashley I've really been meaning to read this though I've heard that this doesn't have like a whole lot of Christmas in it so it's more like a winter story so I might read this after Christmas but yeah that is a book I've been meaning to read as well and this is a book about Sophie who is like a single mom who inherits this like home called the winter's end it's like a mansion and um that's all i like know about this i don't know much more about it but it does seem to be quite similar to 12 days of christmas like because it involves a mansion but i'm really looking forward to read it so the next book is the gift by cecilia ahern that i'm planning to read hopefully so this is about a man called lou and this other homeless man called gabe and i just know that lou is like struggling with time and uh, like he's very busy i think because they've said that like he wishes to be in two places at once and he's struggling with his wife and family and then gabe is a homeless man who's like outside lou's office and there happens to be a time when Lou invites Gabe into the building and apparently his life changes and that's all that's written here so that's all that I know about it um, and it also says that it teaches us the time of sorry the value of time and what it means like what is truly important in life and that's all I know about this book but it looks stunning it like I love the cover it's so so Christmassy and yeah i also really really love cecilia ahern's books so yeah i never talk about her but i've read a lot of her books and that's why i'm really really looking forward to reading this so the next book is a gift to remember by melissa hill and this is another really really good like 
I love the storyline of this book. It's about this girl called Darcy and Darcy is actually named after Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. So she really loves classics and books. I think she even like works in a bookstore, I'm not sure. So that is like the main reason why I really am interested in reading this. And I had actually started reading this last year but then I couldn't finish it because I got sick and I like wasn't reading for a few days. That's why I decided I'll read it another Christmas, but um, it's about Darcy who, like I'll get back to the plot, she is riding a bicycle I think and she accidentally crashes into this um, man walking a dog and the man is taken to a hospital while the dog is left behind and she tries to reunite this dog with the owner but I don't know like why it's written here that she reunites him with the owner and discovers the mysterious stranger's world of books travel adventure and all like the wonderful things she's ever dreamt about so I don't know if she like meets the owner or if she just goes to his house and she hasn't met him yet or I'm not sure or maybe like she does meet the owner and she gets to know him and I think it's a romance story after that so yeah I'm waiting to see how this book turns out to be also I had like spilled a little bit of water in my bag when I had carried it to work <sighs> I was so sad about that but anyway it is all fine another gift that Gav gave me by the way <laughs> he is so so sweet but yeah I love this like the cover and I hope I really love the book. Okay, <laughs> I am going to move to the next book that I have, which is a book by Heidi Swain. As you can see here, it is so festive looking. This is Sleigh Rides and Silver Bells at the Christmas Fair. And this book, um, all I know about it again is about like this Anna who goes to this Winethorpe Hall in like a village I think called Winebridge like I get really confused with these names but again Anna is not really into Christmas but then she starts getting involved I think in like this family that she meets like the household and she um, gets into the Christmas spirit I think that's that's all I know and there's also this person called Jamie who makes a pact with Anna to like teach him to fall in love back with this Winethorpe Hall which I'm guessing it's a mansion I'm not like very sure but yeah that's what i think they like they name all these mansions with like these different cool names that i don't even know about but yeah um i've heard from darling desi if you watch her channel she is so sweet she talks about heidi swain's books a lot and she says that they're very atmospheric and beautiful that is one reason why i'm really really hoping to get into this and um heidi swain has so many other beautiful books so like they're all stunning and yeah I look forward to picking up other books by Heidi Swain but if you're looking for a Christmas read I would suggest looking up books by this author and picking up one for yourself so the next book is The Great Christmas Knit Off look at how cute this cover is so this is by Alexandra Brown I've never re read any books by Alexandra Brown but I picked this book again in a book sale so it was like a thrift thrift book is that is that the right term like I thrifted it so this book is about knitting and if you don't know me I really really love to knit as well um, and I have like knitted a few small things like a scarf and like I knitted a phone cover for myself I'm planning to like knit more things but um, <laughs> I um, picked it up mainly because of that but it's about this girl Sybil who is apparently like heartbroken and like she devotes her time to knitting just because it's an escape for her but I think later on she escapes to this village called Tyndaldale and she tries to like escape from um, her life there I think but she discovers this knitting store which is about to shut down but she decides to put up her jumper is there for sale this is just a simplistic explanation of the plot but it seems really really sweet and cute and yeah i really just think it'll be a cute story i am hoping to read this sometime in christmas let's hope i have too many books but yeah if you're looking for a good christmas book and if you like knitting yep um 
I have a tower of books here. I feel like this video is getting super long, so I'm going to try and keep the plots short for the rest of the books. But these are just a few other books that at least I would love to read during Christmas. Um, some of the books, again, I've not read. So this one is Hercule Poirot's Christmas Poirot. I, Poirot. I don't know how to pronounce his second name. Poirot. 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 80,000 impressions later. Okay, um, Hercule Poirot's Christmas and uh, this is an Agatha Christie book. I love Agatha Christie's book so so much. Um, honestly, any of her mystery book is a perfect cozy read for the Christmas but this is especially set around Christmas and it's about a murder when like there's a family reunion during Christmas and Hercule Poirot is invited and um, there's a murder and he needs to solve it and that's the premise of it and this is a book that I borrowed from Gav, it's his book and uh, I am hoping to read it this Christmas, it seems short, like it's, it's not that short but I tend to read Agatha Christie's books very quickly and like I tend to find them very easy to read, um, the atmosphere is beautiful and I just, I love it. Um, yeah, so if you really love mystery books, definitely highly recommend. Um, the next book, which is actually based on Agatha Christie's books, and I found out about this from Darling Desi, but I had to get this book, so look at this stunning, stunning book. So it is actually based on Agatha Christie and you can see it's Aggie Morton Peril at Owl Park. So this is about um, this little detective uh, whose name is Aggie Morton and she again I think it's like about a mansion that she goes to in England and it's again set during Christmas and winter and it's about a suicide that they're trying to solve in this book like that's all the plot I know about again but it seems so so sweet and apparently there are a few phrases from Agatha Christie's books that are used here you know not like any spoilers or anything like that um, I guess it's just like you know to refer to Hercule Poirot and apparently there is some guy Hector Parrot in this who like the name sounds so so similar to Hercule Poirot so that is quite interesting but yeah I'm really looking forward to read this book as well it's just super super sweet um yeah I really hope I like all of those books and another interesting find this book I found again at a book sale just look at this it is Skipping Christmas by John Grisham it is quite a short book if you can see and the funny thing is I like did not know John Grisham wrote a Christmas book so that's pretty interesting it's kind of like a contemporary book I think it's about this uh, family I think it's family or just like two people who are a couple who do not like Christmas so every Christmas they decide to you know skip Christmas by going away for that Christmas time but I think this year they discover that skipping Christmas has its own consequences and they're about to learn that. That's all I know. It is like it sounds pretty interesting and it's a short read so I might pick it up. I like the color of this so so bright green like it looks like a Christmas tree. Um, but yeah so I'm hoping to get to this soon but again written by John Grisham that's why I'm very very intrigued. Um, now, the next books I think I'll be covering are like all the non-Christmas books, but they're like cozy. So I'm just going to show them to you and then I'll talk about a few books that I do not own but I have heard of and that'll be it. I'll be wrapping up the video. This book, The Little Book of Huga. So this is a like book about all things cozy. I mean, why would you not want to read it? Just look at that. It talks about everything cozy that you can do and this is apparently like the Danish way to cozy so yeah it's it's just their tradition and what they like to cook or just how they like to live and just seems really nice so and there's a lot of like pictures so I feel like it would be a very quick read or no there's like a lot of small font too so maybe not <laughs> the next book that I recently got is Ex Libris, which again, this seems super cozy to read during the Christmas too because it is a book about books. So if you're not feeling like reading but you still want to get in like a bookish mood and 
you know, have someone talk about books to you, this is, ow, this seems like a good book. Um, and I have heard quite a few great reviews about this. Um, and I'm hoping to actually read this next year. But yeah, it's a cozy book as far as I like imagine. So that had to be here. The next books that I think would be super cozy to read are A Pinch of Magic. You can look at how beautiful and festive that cover looks as well. So this is about three sisters who are trapped in an ancient curse and um, that, that's all I know about it. It's about like three magical objects. They need to break the curse and it, it gives me a, like Harry Potter vibes in a way. By the way, I never mentioned Harry Potter books, but Harry Potter books are my go-to if I was looking for a cozy read for Christmas, so Harry Potter books, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this. And yeah, this is about these three sisters. It does give me Harry Potter vibes, so I think it will be a beautiful cozy read as well during the winter. And then the next book is Pages & Co. So this is Tilly and the Book Wanderers, which is the first part of the Pages & Co series. And it's about Tilly who lives in a bookstore with her grandparents. And I think like she has the power to travel within books and meet characters like Peter Pan and like, I don't know who else she meets. I've not read the book, but it seems like such a cozy, sweet book. And it's a middle grade book again. Um, and I think like middle grade books, just it's just something about them. They just seems so so cozy um i i love them like the look of them the feel of them so highly recommend this book if you're looking for a cozy bookish book the next book is again this again gives me harry potter vibes but this is nevermore um it's about morrigan and like it says, The Trials of Morgan Crow. She's born on the unluckiest day and she's like blamed for all the misfortunes and everything. And um, you know, she's like cast out. That's all I know again about it. Um, there are different parts of this book. There's even um, Wonder something. And I couldn't get my hands on the other books in the series, but I got the first one because it is kind of stunning. I love the naked book as well just look at that but yeah this again seems like a very cozy book it gives me harry potter vibes so if you're looking for something harry potter-ish with like fantasy and magic this is another really good one and the next and i think this is the last book on my hard copies that i own is the time of green magic i think like i had talked about this in my book haul but this is about abby and her two brothers max and louis and they find that there are strange things happening in their house and they only happen when they're alone and not when they're adults or i think like the parents don't see it and they are trying to find out what this mysterious creature is now this is not like a christmas book but it seems super cute magical and like cozy so i thought i would include it here if you are looking for something magical again a middle grade book and hence i think it will be just perfect if you're you know looking for a middle grade christmas no christmas like a cozy read um yeah those are all of the books um i feel like i talked a lot um, but yeah, I really do hope you enjoy these recommendations. Other books like I've heard about on I think like bookstagram and stuff, but I haven't really got around to like buying them, but I might get them on the Kindle. There's books like In a Holidays, which I think was released recently. There's One Day in December. Um, then there's even The 12 Days of Christmas, sorry, The 12 Dates of Christmas. Um, then I think there's even Faking Under the Mistletoe. Uh, there's so many Christmas books, it's crazy. There's Mistletoe and Mr. Right, which I think is like a second book in a series. Yeah, I think like those are all the books I can remember that are like based around Christmas that I would want to pick up and read if I could possibly, but there's just so many books and do a little time so yeah um these are all the books i'm hoping to get around to during christmas season not everything at once but whenever i can um 
I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm kind of getting late because I need to go out and meet Gavs. So I'm going to be ending the video here. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope you have a lovely reading time during Christmas week. Um, stay safe, take care and um, stay warm and cozy. Bye! What the fudge? Fudge! Ah, too much, too much, too much, oh my god.